Hey y'all, thanks for checking out another video. In this video, I'm going to take you from start to finish on how I detangle, take down, and style my daughter's hair. Right here, I separated her hair and I'm just removing the twist with my hands. If you can, if your hair is not so matted, remove your braids or weave tracks or whatever. Do that with your hands. At this point, her hair is all taken down. Um, as you can see, her hair is still moisturizing. Her hair was up for about four or five weeks, but as you can see, it still looks moisturized. It still doesn't look extremely dry. My focus in detangling is really to not pull out a lot of the hair where you see all the gunk and dirt buildup. So what I do is I separate the hair into large sections. And because her hair is not extremely thick, but it's not extremely thin either, the section that I'm working with, I'm going to separate that section into two sections because I don't want to pull out an excessive amount of hair in the detangling process while I'm trying to um, focus on the nape of her hair and you have all this extra hair at the top. You run a greater risk of just ripping that hair out. So I want to focus on that hair. That hair is kind of gentle. You have to be kind of gentle with that area. So I'm going to focus on that hair. So that's why I break it up into two smaller sections. And all I did was put water on it to make it more pliable. And because I have more of a detangling problem with them at the root of their hair, that's where I start. I put the smooth through detangler at the root of the hair, work it in with the tips of my fingers, with the pads, not the nails. You should work it in with the pads of your fingers. And if it's too thick, because the detangler is very concentrated. So if it's too thick, I just add a little more water. But the key is to work it into the hair and you can start to feel when it starts to break down the hair. So at that point, you will start detangling. But now I want to make sure that all of her strands are coated. That's very important because when you coat all the strands, you protect the strands from not being ripped out because there's a glide that protects the strands from being being ripped out. So that's what I try and do here. I make sure that all of her hair is coated. So where I can see her hair is black, I try and add detangler again with the pads of my fingers, not with the nails. So please don't scratch your scalp. Again, working with the pads of my fingers until I feel that it's penetrated enough in her hair. That's the feeling that I'm looking for to make sure it's penetrated. And once I have that feeling in my hand um, that, the, that the detangler has penetrated the hair, I start from the very end, detangling her hair with a wide tooth comb. And I work my way up to the root. And as you can see, it's not a lot of pull or friction on her hair because of the previous steps. I, I took her hair loose with my hands, which cut down on a lot of tangling. And also, I coated her hair very well, which cuts down on a lot of tangling. And what I'm doing here is I'm chopping through the hair. And for me, it helps to break up um, all of the gunk that I showed you earlier in the video. It helps to break that up easily. So you don't just rip and pull hair out. And as you can see, she's falling asleep. You can look at her eyes and tell that they're, her eyes are closed. She's falling asleep. And this is the child that is extremely tender-headed. She is one of the daughters that I created the detangler for because it was a nightmare detangling her hair. So when I watch these videos and I, in the editing process and I look back and I see her eyes closed, it's just touching to me. And you want to be very careful with the nape of the hair because you don't want to just pull that hair out.
And what I usually do is I comb from every angle to make sure the hair is detangled. And there's another comb I usually use, but I didn't use it in this video, to make sure it, I go through it with a fine tooth comb to make sure that it's completely detangled. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the same steps with this next section, and then I'm going to twist that whole section together and put it in a loose knot so that you don't have detangler all on the back of your neck. And once that is finished, I'm going to wash her hair with the twists in. I'm going to take the knots loose, but I'm going to wash her hair with the twists in her hair. That is another step that cuts down on detangling. As you can see here, I finished with the last set and we're going to go and watch shampoo her hair. At this point, her hair has been shampooed. I put the same detangler on her hair as a conditioner. It's formulated to be a conditioner. She's going to sit under the hooded dryer for 20 minutes on medium heat. And then we're going to rinse her hair in cool water, blow dry, and then we're going to flat iron her hair. And let me just apologize now the lighting i had my blinds open and the sun kept going in and out in and out so you can't really see the shine and how her hair is flat iron but i inserted a clip up close i closed the blinds and inserted a clip for you to see what her hair actually looked like you can't see the you can't get the gist of it with the natural light and see like now how the sun changes the angle and you can see a little bit more of the shine now and that's what was happening the sun will go in and out in and out so i got tired of fighting with that and i just closed the blinds and i'll show you an up close clip on what her hair really looked like how silky and shiny it is Now that's what her hair really looks like once I close the blinds. As you can see, it's very silky, very shiny. You didn't see me run the flat iron through it 10 times. All she really needed was once, but I'm so used to doing it twice. Um, that's what her hair looked like. That's what her hair looked like after we had finished flat ironing it. And let me just say, we have a running, uh, I guess you can call it challenge in the house that who can keep their hair straight the longest my younger daughter held the title for 30 days she kept her hair straight for 30 days with no retouches no restraining the ends none of that well this daughter here she wears the crown she has the title I, you guys i stopped counting after 35 days i think it was 35 days I, I just stopped counting i was like okay whatever however long you keep it up you got it. You you wear the crown now. So this is the day I finished it. And I just want to let you guys know that I don't use any oils. These are up close shots. I don't use any oil, any grease, any polishes, any pomades, anything on her hair. All I do is deep condition her hair with smooth through detangling detangler and put it under a hooded dryer for 20 minutes and blow dry it, flat iron, and these are the results. No polish, no nothing. This is day two, I can tell, because of the crimps in her hair when she she's learning how to wrap her hair so that wasn't a very successful wrap so i can tell because of the the crimps in her hair that was the second day this is around day four or five she kind of got the hang of um wrapping her hair this is day 14. i stopped y'all i wasn't taking pictures every day so you know i just kind of every so often either took a picture or done a video clip, but I know this was day 14 because I was doing another another video. This is day 14. As you can see, her hair is still straight, still silky.
and I don't put any oil or anything on their hair. None of that. I don't I don't need it. So I don't put any oils or pomades or polishes or anything. I don't put anything on their hair. This was day 13, mm, I want to say around 34, 35. I was going to put her hair in a different style just to do something with it because she got tired of wearing it just flat and straight. And she told me, she was like, Mama, I'm so over this hair. I'm ready to have my curls back. And I was like, I'm so over it too. So we didn't even style it. We just put it back in a ponytail and um, a few days after that, we washed it. So that was it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please share this video, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you in the next video.